All right, guys. In this video, we'll see how long it will take to charge your 2021 Tesla Model 3 all-wheel drive long range at home. Now, I'm sure you've seen the other video that I put out that I've charged my Model 3 in a full Tesla supercharger. That's the very supercharger I charged in on New Year's Day and it was absolutely full. And that video is there in the description of this video as well as in the top right corner. Do check that out. Now we're going to do the AC charging at home. Before we go into the preface, you'll see that right now I have 14% and you know that you can change from battery to distance here and I have 77 kilometers in my battery at this time. Now let's plug it in and as you know, we can schedule or schedule our charge and that's what I've done. So I've scheduled my charge to leave at about 7 a.m. in the morning. I do not have a time of day charge, so I have fixed rates, but I have the added advantage of having the AGL electric vehicle deal, which is $1 fixed rate, all you can eat buffet so I can charge my car how much I want. But this test is to show you how long it will take and what is the kilowatt hour usage that you will have and what you will pay depends on your rate of charge. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla The Gong and let's have a look at what I use to charge my car here at home. So these are high power wall chargers and they have a separate isolator as is the rule here in Australia, I believe. And these came with my Model X. So these are version one chargers. I do have a version two charger lying around which came with my SR Plus 2020 version. These chargers are no longer being offered in the Model 3s here in Australia. I believe from August of 2020, they're no longer being offered. You can buy them from the Tesla shop, which is about 780 Aussie dollars. And those will be the Gen 2 high power wall chargers. I have now plugged the Type 2 plug into the port and you can see that the light changes from a light blue to somewhat of a dark blue. I have scheduled charging set up and so it will not start charging right away. But if you do not have scheduled charging, this should start flashing green right away and it will start charging your car. Now let's see what the deal is with these wall chargers. These are called Tesla wall connectors and as Tesla puts it in their website is the most convenient way to charge your car at home or office. Simply plug in overnight and wake up to a full charge. Think of it, it's like having a full tank in your car while you slept. Now I know we EV owners know this already but for people who are looking to go to EV, this is something to think about. This is a versatile machine with customizable power levels ranging from 6 amps to 32 amps and it is compatible with both 230 volt single phase as well as the 400 volt 3 phase power supplies. Now the 400 volt 3 phase power supply is of course slightly better giving you a faster charge rate but do not fret the 230 volt single phase power supply is more than sufficient because the car is going to charge when you're sleeping overnight. As you can see in this table here, different cars have different AC chargers on board. Now the Model 3 has a 11 kilowatt AC charger, which typically adds about 75 kilometers per hour. The Model X and Model S have a 16.5 kilowatt charger, which add about 80 to 90 kilometers per hour. And if you have a pre May 2016 Model S, you may have 11 or a 22 kilowatt onboard charger. Now let's look at some of the typical numbers. We are of course interested in that 11 kilowatt charger with a three phase power supply and a maximum amps set at 16, which is what the Model 3 can take. We add in 75 kilometers an hour. Of course, if you have single phase, that will drop considerably. You can also actively reduce that amps from 16 amps and bring it down. And that will also reduce the rate of charge. I have a separate video in the editing table right now where I use just the solar power or mostly solar power to charge my car and that is going to drop in my channel very soon. While you're at it, a sub to the channel will be amazing because you can see all my videos as soon as they drop. Just smash that bell icon and if you like this video, click on the thumbs up button as well, please. Now let's fire up Tesla scope and get all the data. Now this video where I've charged my car from 8% to 90% in a V2 supercharger is already there on my channel. Please do check that out. I'll leave a link in the description as well as in the top right corner. Now that supercharger was absolutely chockers full that day. It was on New Year's Day that I did the charge. You can see how long that took. But then I will be going back to Berry once again. And not just because I love Berry, but I want to go and test how long the car would take to charge from 8% to 90% when there is no other car in the charger charging at that time. You know that V2 superchargers 
are in an AB configuration, we do not have V3 here in Australia yet. So look out for that video too. As you can see, we started at 13%. I'll keep scrolling this page so that we can see how long we've taken to charge the car. I'll stop at important milestones to show you what has happened at that time. For instance, at 25%, we've added in about 140 kilometers. And at 50% state of charge, we've added in 280 kilometers. You can also see the kilowatt hours here, which will help you determine what the cost for that 50% state of charge would be for you. In my case, it's just $1, but for you, you may have a fixed or a variable rate, and this will help you determine that cost. At 70%, we have added in about 395 kilometers, as you can see here. So this session, which lasted five hours and seven minutes, added in 58.67 kilowatt hours. Now you can use this number to calculate what this would have costed you because you may have a different rate of charge to me. Now that's all folks. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video gives you some idea as to what it takes to charge your car using a high power wall charger with three phase supply at home at night. And do remember, if you have scheduled charging set up, the car intelligently starts charging at an appropriate time. I have more charging related videos coming up so do click on that subscribe button and also click on that bell icon to get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop. Do consider using my referral code if you are on the lookout to buy a sexy of your own S3X or Y. In my case, my supercharger credits are tied to my Model 3 which people can hire ex Canberra here in Australia to drive, enjoy and possibly buy in future. So I'm actually paying it back to the community that has given me so much. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.